Welcome to Geek's Corner, I'm Mr. Daps. And I'm Johnny Five. And we are back. Um, why are you Johnny Five tonight? Because every time we film a uh, song, we end up using five pieces of equipment. It's true. Between your keyboard, the PC, the Mac, the video camera, and the microphone, there's five different things we have to use in order to get it all to work. <laughs> Sad, but true. <laughs> um, speaking of filming a new song or recording yeah. a new song, you want to talk we, about yeah, our new we, song? I, I'm proud I mentioned of this it because we just finished wrapping it up mm -hmm. uh, a couple minutes ago. Figure the loud stuff first for recording for the name's yeah. sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to to get the the you know ballerina hippos yeah. out of the way. Get them get especially them since we night. live on the second floor, so that yeah helps yeah, yeah. a little bit. They they were wiggling their ears and blowing bubbles. It was name of the new song. Down. Name of the new song. Uh, the, what's it? What's the official name? It's still in the penguin works. Pilgrim, the penguin pilgrim. The yeah, penguin pilgrim. Yeah, I think is what we pilgrim. settled on. As you can tell, it's a Thanksgiving song, so we will have it up by Thanksgiving. We hope. Yes, we will. If we have our way. And the equipment does not. And we will have our way. Exactly. While the equipment may we'll Speaking see. of Thanksgiving, there's yes. a bit of a bummer at Disneyland this year. Yes. There is going to be no presidential pardoned turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Um, I, I did hear about that. I, it's quite sad. It, I think it's... I don't know why. It's because I think it was last year they were... Uh, the turkeys themselves were terrified because of the uh, the turkey legs throughout the park <laughs> and watching people eating them it, I'm it's sure kind of that, traumatizing for I'm sure turkey. that's exactly the reason uh -huh. it was a little weird I walked by the other night and there um, there was clucking cluck what the cluck <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah anyway moving along there's always been clucking at Disneyland yeah but in the go turkey, to go to Toontown but it was in the turkey the area yeah yeah yeah. The Hobbit. <laughs> the, the Hobbit. Hobbit. The Hobbit. On Wednesday, for those of you in New Zealand, because we know we have lots of viewers in New Zealand. Or in Old Zealand. We don't care. Yeah. Anyway, they're doing auditions if you want to be a Hobbit. So, mm -hmm. on Geek's Corner this week, we posted pictures of, or a picture of the um, casting call for what you need to be to be in The Hobbit as a Hobbit. So if you're short and have hairy feet, it's your chance to be a star. Mm -hmm. Is that you? No, you're tall. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one other thing's going on. Uh, I did a bunch of interviews this week. I yes. got to meet uh, Ted Thomas, who's the son of legendary animator Frank Thomas. It was a lot of fun. Great interview, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, that's up on dapsmagic.com. You can read about my interview there. I also got to interview the sons of the Sherman Brothers who wrote Mary Poppins music and a bunch of other really great stuff, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, if you uh, get a little bit away from Disney. But um, that was also really cool um, as part of their promoting of the documentary The Boys. And we're supposed to interview Don Hahn, something happened, didn't quite work out, so uh, we will see if we can reschedule that one. Sorry, but Don. I will still write about his uh, documentary Waking Sleeping Beauty, which I watched over the weekend and was really good also. Um, so Waking Sleeping Beauty, The Boys, and Walt and El Grupo, all really good documentaries, and I'm told if you buy them as a three-pack you get some cool pictures from each one or something that comes with your packaging. Um, nice. Yeah, that's about all I've got that's a, that that's a lot of reviews. Yeah, I was, I was busy last week. That's a lot to read. Well, yeah, that too. I don't write that much though, do I? You've I never read anything. I haven't read anything you've written. So, yeah, <laughs> I figured. Yeah. Talk about Hawaiian I'm Fridays. I'm not a reader. Well, is is there another another uh, thing you wanted to talk about with the depths? No. Is there? Is there? <laughs> Heck if I know. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll be posting uh, probably some of the interviews. Uh, we were unfortunately had some technical glitches. Surprise, surprise. But some of the interviews, especially the Sherman uh, Sherman Cousins interviews. Uh huh. You were pushing the buttons today. Oh. Uh, <laughs> We'll be posting some of those on our brand new DAPS podcast, which will podcast. be up hopefully later this week, maybe this weekend. Um, we've got some really cool people that are the driving force behind this, mainly DC Sarah, who I'm just going to start calling DC now because I think that's easier. Yeah. And it sounds cooler. DC. Kind of, yeah. It's, although it kind of reminds me of the cat from That Darn Cat. Wasn't that DC? DC? I have no Haley clue. Mills. 
No, yeah. Dean Jones. I, I've seen it, but yeah. I can't think of the name of the cat. I think it was DC. Oh, that darn cat! And that's, he didn't have a name. DC, because it was darn cat. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, so... Cat has a C in it? You're now DC. Um, <laughs> yes, it's not a cat. <laughs> but it's a um, nice hard cat sound. And uh, Francis, who uh, hosts the Chronicles with me, the Daps Chronicles, so keep your eyes open for that. And you don't want to call him Frankie or shorten that somehow? You call him just Fran? I don't know. Would you appreciate that? Fran? I'll oh. call him Fran. I think you'll appreciate Hi, Fran. That. Oh, man. DC and Fran. Um, <laughs> they own a diner. <laughs> so, Hawaiian Fridays. Hawaiian uh, Fridays. What we want to do is we're going to feature Hawaii somehow, mainly via the Tiki Room, and mm -hmm. we're going to encourage people to wear Hawaiian shirts on Fridays, wherever they may be, especially if they're at Disneyland. Yes. Yeah, so that way, people will show up, and all of a sudden there's this sea of floral colored print, and they're not sure if they missed a memo, or if they're just not cool enough. But or if John Lasseter's family is in town. Exactly. Just like, oh, no. so, so tell all your friends, uh, spread this like wildfire so that everyone in the park is wearing a Hawaiian shirt uh, this Friday. And every Friday. And every Friday. Because it's Hawaiian Friday. Friday is not... Oh. Not singular. Oh. It's every Friday. Oh, okay. And DC is yes. writing these really cool blogs that she's doing haiku with all the different uh, gods currently from the Tiki room. Mm -hmm. So really it's cool. a, it's not your average low coup. It's a high coup. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's what a high coup is? I have no clue. Go look on Geek's Corner. Okay. Yeah. DC but, will tell uh, you. If DC will tell you. DC will tell you. But uh, how many how many syllables are in the first and third lines? Heck, if I know. <laughs> Do you know? You don't even know what a haiku is. How would you know? Because. Because I do know what a haiku is. Oh, you just... <laughs> oh, I'm a liar. <laughs> but, uh, to, yeah. people, people who understand the joke comment as to what's in the first and third line of a haiku. Okay. And we're gonna move on. <laughs> okay. Dancing. Why dancing. am I moving us into dancing? I don't even... See? He wants to do it. He secretly wants to do it. We haven't had enough 3D in a while. That's... <laughs> you want to put your shoe up there, too? <laughs> Uh, we haven't forgotten about dancing. We are going to get to it. Just it's a, it's a scheduling thing. It's it was a, a scheduling remembering thing. to bring the equipment it was a with you thing. Very cold last night thing. It's uh, a don't get up that early in the morning and then be too tired by the time the dancing starts kind of thing. Yeah. So we will get to it. We haven't forgot it. We might just get more and more DAP staff members involved with this. Do you make up friend? We're looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, anybody really? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get this whole group and it will be a big line dance. I'll start a Facebook group. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. Um, back to the video. We've been getting comments. Yes. A few of them. Yes, we via have. Either Facebook or actually on the YouTube right below us. And um, last week we had a very interesting um, comment, and we weren't sure if this was a request or if it was a something someone's seen, something that actually existed, uh, maybe in Florida or something. I don't that'd know. be cool. Um, uh, but someone mentioned a vendor cart musical uh, with a churro ballet. And uh, if, if they're suggesting this is something that should happen, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, as soon as I read those words, I'm, I was very excited to see that. And if it doesn't exist yet, then uh, we need to start wheels turning and get that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, is there anything else they can comment on this week? Uh, how fabulous I look. Or, uh, true. Um, oh, I did hear, and it's very unsubstantiated, so I wouldn't report this as news in any way whatsoever. This is gossip! It's total gossip, but there is a rumor that Star Tours might be running late, so we might not be getting our Star Wars fix the exact day we thought we were gonna get it. But, Star Wars can wait, right? Yeah. Uh, but not for me it can't! Why, huh? Johnny Fives. I'm gonna call them weasons because they're my reasons for a wee. <laughs> you would. <laughs> they're my oh weasons. My I'll make a logo. I don't know. You would. Um, like Weasen like number three it. is the Force Unleashed one and two, so that makes three. Uh, and I'll I'll cut them together as one. I'm not gonna shortchange anyone. Okay. Uh, but I saw the commercial for the game. That's it's so one of those you... games that just really makes me want to play it. You know, and and I was in a Costco and I saw the uh, the lightsaber controller, 
So, uh, so you can take the, uh, the Wii controller that people throw into their TVs anyway, and you can put an extension on it that can do some real damage. So that's what I want to see. Um, at Costco, were you wearing your cape? They kicked me out for that. I'm not allowed to wear the cape near Costco. Uh, side note, another thing that made me happy that Costco has now is uh, Pat and Oscar's breadsticks bacon serve. Nice. Yeah, six bucks for 12 breadsticks. Serves 24. I don't really... It's like if you cut them in half... So you say half is a serving, huh? Yeah. But then it wouldn't serve 24 people. It would yeah. serve me 24 that times. Work. That would work. Because I like my breadsticks. Anyway, I think we're running out of time, don't you? Probably. Yeah, it's, it's getting late, and you can tell because we're a little bit loopy. Woo! So um, we'll see you next week here at Geek's Corner, and keep your eyes open for the podcast. We'll see you later. Geek out! <laughs>